All right, guys, so I got a hold of these two guys right here. For those who don't know what this is, they're Think Center by Lenovo. The model number is M900. I want to use these guys for my NAS server and as a Plex server as well. The reason I like these two guys is that you can find them super cheap right now on eBay. And in my case right here, I bought them for parts. Buyer stated there's some parts missing. They were so cheap that I got two from the same seller. My plan is to get them both working and one of them is going to be Sold. the other one I'm gonna keep it for myself one of the first thing that was missing was power supply unit this come with laptop style power supplies I was lucky enough to have one stock in my uh, garage this particular power supply looks like your typical power brick just a Lenovo laptop power supply and I just went ahead and just plugged it into the power curious to see what's gonna happen and I get an error message right here it says checking media presence and apparently it doesn't have any hard drive that's why they're giving me me this array here let's uh, jump inside and see exactly what's missing and try to fix this one thing guys you're gonna notice is that my unit in particular uh, doesn't come with your typical HDMI port there are units the same model as this one that come with the standard USB port but this one in particular came with the VGA port and display port right here, right? In order for me to connect it to my display right here, I need a cable like this one, HDMI female port to display port right here. And this way I can connect my typical HDMI cable directly to this cable and to my monitor right here. But I'm gonna show you how to upgrade from this guy to a standard HDMI. This way you're not gonna be using this one right here. Another thing that I like about this unit, not only that they're super compact, but they're so easy to get inside. So all you need to do, there's a screw right here and then you just slide the top like this and you have access to the internals and uh, right off the back I noticed that I'm missing my hard drive which would typically stay here everything else seems to be normal everything else should be in place to get access to my RAM you unscrew the screw right here and you slide this hard drive housing and you're getting access to your RAM my processor here is the 95000T i5 which I'm pretty glad with I don't want to upgrade that one it's gonna work just fine so the only thing I'm gonna upgrade I'm gonna get a new hard drive and as you can notice right here you can use a M2 SATA hard drive which I'm gonna do that is gonna be a lot faster and I'm gonna upgrade the RAM also as I told you before I'm gonna upgrade the HDMI port and I'm also I'm gonna add a CD reader as well and I'm gonna show you how to do that very simple and it's gonna look super awesome so stick along All right guys so to summarize everything that we got here is uh, I changed the VGA port that used to be right here to a HDMI port now in case you need the port number you can see it right here you can find it on eBay so this is the unit right here it's very easy to connect it just unplug the old one and plug the new one and it's made and built to fit the same hole right here so let me show you how it used to look with the old one I upgraded that and now for the internals since I was here already I went ahead and uh, changed the thermal paste for my processor and the processor is under the fan right here and now I ended up getting a one terabyte of uh, the M2 SATA hard drive and I also am gonna keep this one inside I got from uh, a scrap build I had before and I'm gonna reuse it I thought it's an SSD why not extra storage 500 gigabytes I'm gonna include it right here for the RAM I went with 32 gigabytes and it works just flawlessly I have also changed the battery right here just in case just a new fresh one it's not gonna hurt I already installed Windows 11 and honestly guys it just flies let me know if you want me to do any benchmarks and if you really want me to do that I can do some reels but let me know in the comments below all the parts I use obviously they're gonna be in the description below but let me put this together real quick so I'm gonna get this one inside this one goes here it's super easy to put this on as well just snap it and as I told you before I'm gonna include a CD reader as well just in case I have some information some old pictures and stuff like that that I keep on my CDs this one is made specifically for these compact models from Lenovo and you can find them on eBay cool part about it that is plug and play it has this casing underneath it has everything you need just to plug it in it also comes with a cable like this one on the back it's gonna, not gonna use too much of your space uh, 
it's not gonna add any other you know additional wires slide it in just like that look how nice and compact I just love it it looks so good on the back side this is where this cable comes in so look how they thoughtfully design it to fit just exactly what it has to go right there and right here just like that look how compact it is these are the holes where you can just get some screws on the wall behind the TV or anywhere and this is that and again if you want me to get deeper into this let me know and i'll uh, get some benchmarking going on i typically don't use that because they're subjective but yeah let me know if you want me to do that i'll do it let you guys know how it goes i'm just booting it up I have preloaded with everything I needed. I have the Windows 11 installed. It works like a charm, guys. Everything works just like that. You have the CD-ROM right here. So many USB ports, even for the microphone, for headphones. It's just unbelievable, right? In the back, you have some extra USB ports only because of the drive on the top. On the back side, you have the LAN port as well. I forgot to mention that you can include a Wi-Fi card in it. I don't have it because I don't need it. It's gonna be always plugged to the LAN, but there's that possibility as well. Now we're running Windows 11. Everything obviously works great. Let me go here and show you guys some specs. Let's go to properties here. So these are the specs. I have the i5 6500T CPU, 2.50 gigahertz right here. I have the 32 gigabytes of RAM. Everything is readable. Everything works. I installed for me the Windows 11 LT right here, enterprise hard drives right here. I have the 500 for the system and I have the one terabyte for my storage right there. If you guys like this video, hit me with a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.